Okay, so hello, uh, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is going to be episode of March 18 and 19 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, okay? I'm going to try to do the readings like this for today. I'm sure you guys will leave your opinions if you like this way or not. All right, but I just want to see how this goes. All right, so this is a first for me. Let's see what energies come out for you. You have questions about getting a personalized reading. You can check the description box, okay? Everything is there for you. What you see is what you get. So let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Really hope this is recording. Let me see. Let me check here. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we're good to go. All right. What are the messages for Scorpio, please? Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. That is your energy. Okay, that is um, Second Deacon of Scorpio. We have the Seven of Wands, and then we have the Hangman. So it looks like you're looking at a, a, a situation from your past that um, got rejected. This could also, too, you're getting, um, you're getting denied or rejected because of something in your past or by someone in your past. Okay, so it looks like with the Hangman energy here, it looks like you're supposed to see a situation differently or you are seeing somebody for who they truly are. Okay, so I'm getting this is this is why you are rejecting your past here because you're seeing somebody completely different. Okay, let's see what else this is here. But I'm getting this could also be you're feeling stuck or bound. Like you, you feel like you have to wait on something because of your past here. Something was rejected or denied. All right, so, so this could be with anything, a relationship. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's get some more cards. Okay, so we have the two of wands. We have the strength card and we have the a knight of pentacles. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting it's about, this is about somebody who made a decision or you have a decision to make. Okay, I'm getting, you could, you could choose two paths here. Or I'm getting one of those paths is rejecting this person and resisting. All right, or just kind of waiting and waiting to give them this, you know, offer here. But this is still taking a while. This is still procrastinating, waiting. Now this could be someone that you're actually waiting on. It could be a fire sign that you're waiting on for somebody in your past. Okay, but I'm getting you are resisting something here. You're, you're resisting giving someone something or you're kind of seeing the, the offer differently or maybe you're not even wanting to do this anymore. It's kind of like you're, it's kind of like you're just you're, like you're waiting or you're procrastinating, but I'm getting you're doing it on purpose with the strength card. It's like you're doing this intentionally. It's like you're being made to wait. We have two majors here. What is the uh, two of wands? Okay, yeah, it's like, do you want to leave or do you want to, do you want something new? Do you want to do you want to go into the unknown or do you want to stick with what you with what you know and what you're comfortable with? Yeah, so I'm getting you can either you can either you can either move on and step into your own destiny, stand up for yourself, walk your own path, do your own thing, or you can stay with this person from your past. Okay, I'm getting, of course, it could be an ex. You can go back to this person, or this is someone that you are familiar with. It's a familiar spirit, it's familiar energy. All right, so you have a decision to make. I'm getting you're you're trying to decide if you want to you know, keep this up or kind of just move on to something better. All right, move on to a better offer or just a better way. Okay, what's the strength card? So I'm getting a lot of your energy is like circled around this decision here about this person. All right, but I'm getting it is someone, maybe you gave this person a second chance. Okay, what is the uh, the strength card? Yeah, the four of cups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm getting you gave this person a second chance or you guys decided to get back together or you will be. But I'm getting you got back together with this person. Maybe it's not like a full-blown relationship, but maybe you guys just decided to start back dating or seeing each other or talking. All right, but I'm, I'm getting it's, you know, it's a, quite the challenge with the seven of wands. Somebody's rejecting you or holding back. Or it's like I'm getting you're, you're just not wanting to do this anymore. It's, it's kind of a, this person could be very defensive, all right, maybe they're different. They've changed. Too much time has went by. That's what I'm getting here. Like this person, you don't, you guys don't want the same things anymore. Or there's just, you guys are on two different paths here. I'm getting. Cause listen, this is, this is, this, these, both of these cards are about standing up for yourself, walking your own paths, setting boundaries. Okay. Doing what's best for you in a sense. So I'm getting both of you are on two different paths or you guys want two different things. Okay. What is the, uh, what is the, uh, hangman and the, uh, knight of pentacles? So I'm getting you're trying to decide if you if you want to keep this up, if you want to keep doing this. But I, I'm getting it's kind of a waste of your time. This is what you're feeling like. Okay, what's the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. All right. 
So I'm getting this is a fire sign that you could be dealing with or someone who's very fiery, maybe flirty. That could be the thing. Maybe you guys don't see eye to eye on relationships, how to date, maybe even sex with the strength card here. Okay, what is the Queen of Wands doing? But I'm, I'm getting, it's like you guys have, you guys are very passionate about two different things though. Okay, or two different ideas, two different opportunities. There's, it's like maybe somebody has to leave or it's like somebody has to go off to take this opportunity. Somebody may have to leave or walk away. Okay, what's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, the Seven of Swords. It looks like this person is art. It's like this person is making secret plans, anyways. Yeah, so it's kind. Of, it's kind of like somebody is doing their own thing anyway, in a relationship or in a partnership or whatever this is. Okay, this could definitely be you though. You have your own passions. You, you know, I'm getting to you want to date or you want to go out, but there's something being hidden here or being kept from you or from this other person. Like somebody is hiding something or kind of keeping something under wraps or not really showing their whole hand or not being honest about something. Okay, the three of wands. It, look, it looks like, yeah, so it, it looks like somebody is waiting on someone else secretly. So this could be somebody, this, this fire sign could be secretly longing to be with someone else or secretly, this, this is always means to me an online relationship, someone who's distant. Okay, like someone who's very secretive. You don't, you're not really sure what they're thinking or what they want or what's really going on behind the scenes with this person. I'm, I'm getting you're not really sure how to think here or what to think. But this somebody is keeping something here. I mean, it, it it could just be somebody's waiting on something. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody's kind of waiting on a better offer, or somebody's holding out for something else. Is what I'm getting, and this is what they're keeping from you. Okay, yeah, it's like somebody's insecure. Somebody is like waiting on something, or like somebody's holding off. If there's some, in, somebody's insecure about something, I'm getting to somebody's insecure about opening up or sharing themselves completely a hundred percent because the nine of wands is like insecurities. You're like expecting the worst. Somebody's very negative, a, pa a pessimist. This could be you, but I'm getting it. It's, it's the fire sign that you're dealing with. You could have fire heavy in your chart too, but I'm, I'm getting it makes somebody very defensive, very argumentative maybe, or just very secretive, sneaky. It's like something about this person that's sketchy that you don't trust. Or this person does not trust you. There's something, there's something that this person is insecure about. I'm getting it's about cheating. All right, so this could be, you could be merely arguing with this person about cheating, about relationships. You guys are just, you guys, you guys want two different things or you guys see cheating or relationships two different ways. Or it could even be about sex. You guys see sex two different ways. But there's some type of insecurity in, involving cheating or lying or sneaking around. Okay. One more card, please. This is so I'm getting, this is just about you maybe deciding to be with someone or to be back with someone, maybe get back together with this person. What is the Six of Cups energy, please? I'm also getting two past life, you know, insecurities with the Six of Cups, Nine of Wands. It's like you're worried about being cheated on. You're worried that someone's going to leave you. Okay, you're worried that someone's doing something behind your back. This could be paranoia. This could be paranoia, though, with the Nine of Wands. You're like, you're expecting the worst. You're expecting something that's not there. He's like looking for something bad to happen. All right, he's ready. All right, let's see. What's the Six of Cups? Okay, the Justice. Yeah, so this could be, so I'm getting like, yeah, this is like somebody's ideas or this is like the way somebody is seeing marriage or this is the way, this is how you're seeing somebody that you were married to. But I'm getting this is about relationships, okay? It could be because the full moon is coming up in Libra. This is on your mind. You're thinking about it. Okay, you're thinking about your past relationships. Okay, they were they were failures. You didn't do so well. This is why you're secure. People cheating on you, sneaking, sneaking, lying. All right, so I'm, I'm getting this is like you're going through that again with this person or someone that you're dating. All right. But I'm getting there's, there needs to be a decision. Something needs to be talked, out, talked about or worked out between you and this other person. I'm getting it as a fire sign. I'm getting Leo very heavy here. And we do have the hermit. Yeah, there's something that you really need to think about. You need to think about what you want in a relationship. Okay, because somebody is carrying insecurities and I'm getting, it's, it's kind of getting in the way of you bonding with this person. Like something is being put on hold. But I'm getting, it's because the way that you are seeing something or viewing something, okay? Yeah, you need to, you need to decide what is best for you. What's best for you? All right, I'm, I'm, not, I'm getting, you, you're not really sure what you want or what's best for you here. 
Okay, you're not sure if you want to be in a relationship or if you want to date. You're not, I'm getting, you're not really sure. You're trying to, trying to figure out what's the best thing to do for you. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. All right. So I hope this reading helps you. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.